Trey. All right, guys, so we all know that being able to change your pace and play at multiple speeds is really important as an offensive player. Now, there's a variety of ways you can be able to change your pace. A heavy step, which is your ability to slow down or pause on your inside foot, is not only one way you can change your pace, but it's the easiest way you can change your pace because it's happening within your dribble step timing. And so if the basketball is in my right hand, the ball would naturally go down at about the same time as your inside foot, which in this case, it's my left foot. If the basketball is in my left hand, the ball would go down at about the same time as that right foot. And so when you slow down or you pause on that inside foot, that is your heavy step. And so this is a great way you're able to change your speed. This gives you read moments and it also throws off the defender's timing. I can't always play at one speed throughout the whole course of the game. I have to be able to mix in different changes of speed. And once again, this is the easiest way that you can implement into your game right away because it's within your natural dribble step timing. And so there's a variety of ways you guys can work on this on your own. But for my setup, I'm gonna have four cones set up in somewhat of a curved drive. And the first cone is just gonna represent my initial attack move. So let's say I get into a split through. Now from here, the next three cones are gonna represent my steps. So the second cone, I'm gonna take my first dribble step. The third cone is gonna represent my motion step, which is the step in between my dribbles. And the fourth cone is gonna represent my second dribble step, where I'm gonna transition into that heavy step where I pause and slow down before I can speed up again but I really want you guys to focus on going from a fast to a slow to a fast again. Now, when you guys switch sides, it's gonna be the same concept. I'm gonna make one move at the first cone. Now from here, I want you to focus on creating as much forward momentum as possible. So at the fourth cone, which is gonna be your second dribble step, that's where I'm gonna pause and slow down before I can speed up again. And if you notice, once I get to my heavy step, I don't wanna take another dribble. If I take another dribble, I'm gonna lose opportunities. So if the ball remains in a legal position while I'm slowing down, I can make a read if I wanna pick up and shoot. If I see a teammate cutting back door, I can make a pass. Or if the defense overplays, I'm also able to change direction out of that. So really make sure you guys keep the ball in your outside hand once you guys are slowing down on that inside foot. Guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next.